definitely ain't easy being Donald Trump. Uh, new woman, right? You heard the new woman, the the, the psycho bitch on uh, CNN and ABC. She's writing a book, and she claims that Donald Trump, the president of the United States back in the 90s, raped her in the dressing room of Bergdorf Goodman. Ooh, right? this is crazy shit, right? So, and the fake news media is running with it. So let's take a look. Uh, let's take a look, right? It's the new Stormy Daniels. It's right on time, too. It's right on time, right? It's like the election's coming around. You got to smear them with something new. The Stormy Daniels shit fell apart. Now you got, now you got this woman. I don't even know her name. But let's just listen to how the the you know the propaganda media is spinning it already, right? And then we'll watch we'll watch her go on um, Anderson Cooper, and she totally falls apart. Totally shows herself as a phony. But let's listen to how. Uh, ABC without any real research or, or just because it's a, a tantalizing story of Trump raping somebody. Listen to how they reported it. And his response to a new allegation from a woman who claims he sexually assaulted her in a department store dressing room 23 years ago. Overnight, the president denied the allegation, saying, quote, She's not my type. Our chief national affairs correspondent, Tom Yamas, is here with more. Good morning, Tom. Cecilia, good morning to you. This has turned into an ugly war of words over an incident that Elle magazine columnist E. Jean Carroll says has haunted her for two decades. The president has said the allegation is made up, citing no known surveillance footage or people who witnessed it, and now going one step further. Overnight. President Trump accusing writer E. Jean Carroll of totally lying after she claimed that he sexually assaulted her in a dressing room in the mid-90s. The president telling The Hill, quote, I'll say it with great respect. Number one, she's not my type. Number two, it never happened. It never happened, okay? Carroll firing back on CNN. I love that. Love I am that. so glad I am not his type. <laughs> In her new book, what do which is interesting because that that article, that uh, CNN report, is where she falls apart. But ABC, so so ABC reports after they've already seen the fall apart video, they're still reporting on it as if it's a if it's a, a valid story. You're going to hear her in her own words. Crazy. What do we need men for? The longtime advice columnist described the alleged assault she says happened around 23 years ago inside of a dressing room at Bergdorf Goodman writing, Trump was forcing himself on her, adding, it Where is Bergdorf Goodman? Let's take a look. <laughs> in the fucking world is Bergdorf Goodman. Around and around she goes. Where she stops, nobody knows. It's it's a department store, right? Come on, stop spinning, man. I'm fucking getting, you're getting me busy here. Check this shit out. So she's, she, Bergdorf Goodman, just, it's in, it's in Manhattan. It's right across the street from Central Park. And it's literally right across the street from Trump Tower. Here's Trump Tower. Here's where Trump lives. And here's Bergdorf Goodman's, right? The corner of Central Park Fifth Avenue. Here's where the horses are, right? It's a nice place. I mean, I, I know what it looks like. Let's take a look. It's like, I've, I've been there before. I've, I mean, you see the Christmas time. You see the, uh, yeah, it's, the it's, it's this one right here. It's literally right on the corner of uh, Fifth Avenue. And Trump is, uh, that's Trump right there. Trump is literally... Trump Towers, right, uh, right over here, somewhere. <laughs> I lost it. Where's Trump? Where is he? Where is he? Well, anyway, but you, you get the point. Right? So let's continue. I'm sorry. I digress. Stupid. So for you, this was kind of a, a New York moment. Like oh, one of the those best days. New York. Uh. Just like the best New York. Donald Trump is going to put on a filmy bodysuit? Wait, wait. I'm sorry. I, 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 let's, let's listen to the end of this report. My bad. Turns into a colossal struggle. I try to stomp his foot. I try to push him off. Alleging it didn't stop until she says, I turn, open the door, and run out the dressing room. Carol says she never reported the incident to police, but ABC News spoke with two of her friends who did not want to be named that back her account, telling us she confided in them after the alleged incident. Trump has faced more than a dozen allegations of sexual misconduct or sexual assault, all of which he has denied. Carol says the president's response to her allegation is similar to that of other accusers. He denies, he turns it around, he threatens any attacks. This is also not the first time the president has commented on his accusers' looks. At a 2016 campaign rally, then-candidate Trump had Very this much. to say about a woman who accused him of groping her on a plane years before. Believe me, she would not be my first choice, that I can tell you. Man. 
Trump being a man. That's what Trump is guilty of right now. Trump's being a man. He's being accused by by crazy bag ladies, crazy, crazy fucking New York bag ladies of of rape, and he defends himself. What? And he's not he's not allowed to be a man. You don't know. That would not be my first choice. Now, the president has also alleged Carol is just trying to sell books. Carol denies that, saying her book is not even about Trump and has listed several reasons for not coming forward, including advice from her friends at the time and also the fear of retaliation. Guys. Whoa. So, so here she is on Anderson Cooper. So, just, you know, just for the, uh, let's watch. It's like, oh, I couldn't. So he, look, let's go in the dressing room. I thought, yeah, I'm going to make him put pants on. Walked in. And the minute I was in there, he shut the door and pushed me up against the wall and bang, bang my head on the wall and kissed me. I just, it was so shocking. I couldn't, of course, I started laughing again um, because. You started laughing. You have to remember, too, that Trump is a huge personality in New York in the 90s. He's always been larger than life maybe in the rest of the country they don't know about him but but he's he's a very larger than life uh character to it's just it's 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 so unbelievable in a very busy store but listen listen to how it ends that's watch anderson cooper loses his shit when she says this of course what what, why what why of course because it was a way of if it was at all erotic in his part it would if a man is laughed at it usually will make him uh um, um, and he put his shoulder against me to hold me against the wall. And at that point, I realized that I was in a very difficult situation. Did he say anything? No. No. It was just like, we're going to do this thing. She's making it up as she goes along. You could tell she's kind of making it up. We're just so hot for each other. Uh, or wh- I don't, wh- why would I even try to think what he was thinking? Anyway, so he pushed me, you know, he pushed me, held me with his shoulder, and I was wearing a, a coat dress and tights, and he pulled down the tights. And so um, that's he pulled what... It with, with, he pulled it with both hands, with one hand? One. And um, that was when it turned serious. I realized that this was, this was, this was a fight. Um, and... Even though I can talk about it now uh, and put words to it, at the time the adrenaline is pouring through me, and all I want to do is right. How would you describe? What were you? You, you said you were you were obviously fighting. surprised, fighting. Right. Were you scared? Were you no I angry? Was too, were you? I was too panicked to be scared. Too panicked to be scared. Okay. You know. Uh, is it, and you said adrenaline was pumping. I assume it was right. because I got strong enough. He's six three. Apparently, I've looked it up. I was about six one in the massive heels I was wearing, and so we were even, almost even in height. And down go the tights, and it was against my will, and it hurt, and it was a fight. And this is not a question I would normally ask, and if if you don't want to answer, I totally understand. Um, but given the prior accusations, which have all been of forms of assault or harassment, um, you're saying there was actual penetration. There he is. There she is, accusing the President of the United States of rape. Wow, it's heavy, man. It's so heavy. Look at Anderson Cooper, man. Don't you don't you vet these people? What? It's crazy. Yes. Did you... Uh, which is puts it into a different category of any of these other any of the other act, uh, women who have come forward. Um, I think techno, I mean, that, that, is, that is the definition of, of rape, one definition. That's the definition, yes. She probably looked that up too. You, how long? Brief, mm-hmm. brief, because when a woman is stamping her feet. I'm, that's, and that's what you were doing, you started stamping yeah. your feet. I always think back and think, I, that was the stupidest thing I've ever done. I should never have done it. And then I didn't behave. I, when you say I should have never done it, you mean? That was just a dumb thing to go into a dressing room with a man that I hardly know mm. and have him shut the door and then be unable to stop him. And um, I was a competitive athlete. 
So I wasn't like a, I didn't freeze. I, I rose to the occasion and um, it did not last long. And that's why I don't use the word you just use. I use the word fight. You don't use the word rape. Sexual violence is in every country, in every strata of, of society. And I just feel that so many women are undergoing sexual violence. Mine was short. I got out. I'm happy now. I'm uh, moving on. Um, and I think of all the women who are enduring constant sexual violence. So this one instant, this one, what, three minutes in this little dressing room, I just say it's the fight. That way I'm not the victim. Right? I'm not the victim. You don't feel like a victim. I was not thrown out on the ground and ravished. Which, the word rape carries so many sexual connotations. This was not, this was not sexual. For, it just, it, it hurt. It just, what, it just, you know. Well, I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not I think most sexual. people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. What? Listen to that again. This is where it gets really weird. Watch Andy. You got to pay attention to Anderson Cooper's it, reaction. It hurt. It just, what? it just, you know. Well, I think most people think of rape as a, I mean, it is a violent assault. It is not I think most assault. people think of rape as being sexy. Mm. Let's take a short break. Think of the fantasies. Mm. <laughs> We're going to take a quick break. If you can stick around, we'll talk more on the other side. You're fascinating to talk to. That's right, that's She's a fucking nut job, man. It's a nut job. Listen, Democrats, if this is your idea, if this is your strategy, right? Dem fucking dirty Democrats putting up, putting up a crazy lady right on cue, right on cue. Oh man, it's coming up. Uh, something to talk about, right? Take out, take every, take America's mind off the ball. Putting up some crazy lady. You have another dude. We'll have, we'll have hearings. We we'll drag her into, into, uh, into uh, the Congress and, and grill her and ask her stupid questions about the president. Oh, the president raped me in the in the closet and fucking wow, what bullshit, man! You can't make that one up, man. So uh, I don't know, man. What do you think? I think it's total bullshit. I think it's just a fucking, you know, crazy lady, crazy bag lady writing a book. Ah, throw Trump's name in there. She probably came up with the story. Maybe it was. Maybe maybe Trump was there at that day, and she was there at that day. You know, Trump walks into the store, and then the fantasy kicks in, right? You might, they may find out that Trump was actually in the store at that day, or so. But it's just, come on, man. All these twenty-four years later, doesn't say a word. Doesn't, you know, what's up with that shit, man? Marcus Conte reporting. Become a Patreon of the channel, and uh, one-time contribution right here, Patreon, uh, or PayPal, or, or become a Patreon, dollar or two a month. And uh, you support real journalism. Because that's what this is, right? That shit you just watch is all fake, you know what I'm saying? Marcus Conte reporting.